No, I, you know, and you say wild goose chase. I mean, we, we, we've had a lot of people who've, we've had a couple of people die. We've had many people wounded. And to tell them they've been involved in a wild goose chase, um, to me, is, it's not really what we we're doing. We were meant to find what existed with respect to WMD. We weren't tasked to find weapons. We were tasked to find the truth of the program. And that's what we tried to, to relate in this. And I think it was a worthwhile endeavor. <clears throat> well, we all understand that anyone who is wounded or died in Iraq is a hero. They're, they're there to serve. And the political decisions are made to send them over there. And for all of us who have expressed concerns about uh, this, uh, the, this war, uh, have the highest regard and respect uh, for them. Uh, but uh, the, the fact is, we've had many distortions, misrepresentations about the facts. American people are entitled to facts. Uh, John Adams says, facts are stubborn things. And we have seen distortions and misrepresentations about what is absolutely handly, be handed there. <laughs> and it's fair enough to wonder uh, whether we're spending the $900 million that we're spending, uh, what you, th you say is a very remote, a very remote likelihood of finding uh, weapons of mass destruction should not be spent uh, in other areas to guard what Di David Kay said was necessary to guard uh, if we wanted to try to have an impact in terms of the Americans. Let me just ask you this. With all um, respect, uh, uh, Mr. Delfort, we didn't go to war because Saddam's intent or future capability to produce the weapons of mass destruction. We were told that Saddam already had stockpiles of chemical and biological weapons, and that he could acquire a nuclear weapon within a year, which he could then give to terrorists. That's what we were told. Now, I understand from your uh, testimony, as you mentioned out here in response to Send 11, Iraq did not possess nuclear device, nor did it try to reconstitute a capability to produce nuclear weapons after 1991. Uh, your report talks about Saddam's intent and future capability. That is not what the American people were told. They were told by the president President Bush said on September 27 that Saddam must be prevented from having the capacity to hurt us with a nuclear weapon or to use the stockpiles of anthrax that we know he has. <clears throat> that we know he has. VX, the biological weapons which he possesses. And 10 days later, President Bush unequivocally stated that Iraq possesses and produces chemical and biological weapons. And he continued on October 7th, the evidence indicates that Iraq is reconstituting its nuclear weapons. If the Iraq regime is able to produce biosteel, it could have a nuclear weapon. And Secretary Rumsfeld said, with regards to weapons, we know where they are. They're in the area around Tikrit, Baghdad, east-west. That's the Secretary of Defense telling the American people. And you haven't been able to find them. Sir, I've spent more time with the Iraqi Secretary of Defense than the American Secretary right. of Defense. Ask me about Iraqis. Well, we, uh, I, I want to thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Have you had adequate time to respond to Senator Kennedy's questions? I think so, yes. Fine. Thank you, Senator Inhofe.